Uh, in the situation there is deployment, but uh, the women have arrived, we are with them and they are waiting for you, then we can march to the public gardens where the function is supposed to be. No, we are, we are in a place where they don't know, so we are waiting for you, then we go where the other crowd is, other women, then we march.
That is the Adeke Ebajo. Choma Lobojoan, the woman MP of this place, Soroti City. What is taking place today is an embarrassment where the police have denied us, the women, to celebrate our belated Women's Day. This day was postponed from 8th to 14th. But because the RCC is so mean, whereby I'd request all the doctors in Soroti City to check that man whether he's a man or a woman. 
Otherwise, today I'm ready to offer him my gomesi so that he puts on. He decided to postpone the Women's Day celebration under unknown circumstances. And he is quote quoting that he will not allow any celebration to take place as long as it's an opposition who is coming to be the chief guest. This city is dominated by opposition and we want to assure them that RCC you lie. This is about women. It's not party politics. It's not about NRM. It's not about FDC. It's not about F uh, UPC. But it's about a woman. Can we tell men to respect women? Can we respect our women in various capacities? I assure the people of Soroti City, the team I have here as members of parliament, the councillors who are here, we shall fight for your rights. We shall always stand for you to see you the woman down. For another reason, the committee postponed this activity because they are saying they want Anita, the speaker of parliament, as their chief guest. One, because Anita will give them dollars. Two, Anita will give them too much money and they will even divide the balance between them among themselves. It is on record. I recorded that meeting. Three, they, that she will give them dollars and they will satisfy their lives. So I want to assure the women down there that this is the same way they stole our iron sheets. Instead of the police going to arrest the people who stole iron sheets, they are here arresting and manipulating and frustrating women who are peaceful. I want us to stand firm as women. We shall always stand with you. I want to thank my dear colleagues. Our chief guest is here, Honorable Tat Cecilia, and we are ready to carry on this Women's Day, and we shall celebrate it in style. We are still moving on. Pardon? Members of the press. Members of the press. It has been the norm of the NRM to turn national days into NRM days. This is a day for women all over the world. For women in Uganda, why did they gazette it as a national day and yet they've turned it into an NRM celebration day? The RCC and his corruption who are targeting the speaker because they want to get money from her. We are going to smoke him out of that office because he, what he is doing is unbecoming of his stature. Calling the speaker here and we don't know. We are members of parliament. The speaker speaks directly to us. She's a woman MP. The speaker would have informed her that she cannot make it and ask for a new debt. How is the RCC and which confidence and authority does he have to speak on behalf of the speaker when there's a sitting member of parliament in the house? We have a guest of honor in this place. She's around, Honorable Cecilia Gual, who came to commemorate our Women's Day. She's ready to speak to you, and I'm asking all of you to go and receive her statement. Because unfortunately, the conduct of the security of the police has been very unprofessional, has dispersed our women, is threatening to tear gas and pepper spray us, and it is very unfortunate because our day has been foiled because of that. But we want to assure them that there is no other day that will be celebrated in this town in this year. Because today was the day and we have done it. If they dare, they will see our colors. Before you go, is the tear gas Mitiana woman MP for celebrating Women's Day because she's no. They tear gas the Hoima woman MP from Hoima, who was FDC, who is FDC. They tear gas Kasese woman MP, who is FDC. Now they have come to Soroti. We shall not allow. Mami Tesoejuera Dakai. Anna, is there yeah. any problem here? Can, can we change the position? Eh? Let Mama yeah. come under the shade. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mama. My women, you're welcome to Soroti. By you sent us off to be the guest of honor. And yet, there is nothing for yeah. women in Soroti City. So, Mama, those are the women out there that they have blocked. And these are the police. Well, uh, the good news is that the police. No, it's okay. Yeah, but the police are our people. So. Uh, is there any problem? There is, there is, there is. Celebration. Okay. So we said now, since the organizing committee sat and absorbed 
mm. and even had a meeting in the Sechute, uh, Sechute, Sechute Committee. Yeah. And so it was postponed the function. To when? Every you know, day. You know what we could have done? Yes. Because I also don't want us. I don't want yeah. you. Yeah. I don't want you to do things yeah. which are not proper. Mm. Uh, you are supposed to take care of these people. De definitely. Uh, for me, I came in the name of peace. And I told them, whatever happens, we want our women and uh, security officers mm. to be on the same page. Definitely. Are we together? Please. We don't want anything. Yes, we don't want no any reason. We don't want any tear gas. No. So what we would have done is to allow, because I came with women leaders from across the sub-region of Lango. Mm. They should have come, greeted our women here, and they, and they would have left. Yes. But now to block them is not proper. Mm. And they are there with me. Mm. So what you would have done was to arrest me and you leave the women. Mm. Well, why should go. I arrest you? <laughs> <laughs> How do we arrest the person who was invited? Who, exactly. I have right. um, you know, said I don't know what yeah. is why going on. Why should we arrest you who was invited for a function? Yeah, respond. because I have come together with my uh, women leaders. Yeah, honorable. Uh. Here, honorable. Uh. Peaceful city for some time. Yeah. And where we have found us here, we mm. have peace in Soroti. Yeah. So looking at such situations happen, it is really taints the image, not of, of the leaders only, but even the people. But how are the, the now, women what we are saying, peace? Yeah. How are that women can be peace? That, okay. That, that no, one can no, be because okay. now, when you bring such, when you have such functions, mm. which were stopped legally, now mm -hmm. how do you want me to give a, 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 a way, a leeway? Mm. Mm. There is no way. So no, what we are not only saying, mm. can we really listen to each other? As mm. she has even sent her message, mm. Mm. can mm. we listen? So at, no, for the I would, of, that's why mm. I have come to yes. you. Can we listen? Let, listen to me. Yes. I cannot behave mm. the way the youth behave. Yes. You understand? Definitely. I've come to make sure that you, the security officers, mm. and the political wing mm. operate together. Exactly. What I had, would have wanted to find here is uh, are the political leaders because I want to listen to why mm. they are it's against they are, mm. they are against holding Women's Day on mm. this day. I just want to listen. Me? Because the reason why I've come because I'm an elder. Mm. The reason why I've come because when you are celebrating Women's Day, there's no politics. Mm. The reason definitely. why I've come is because I'm told Soroti is a peaceful city. Yes. And that's why I've come. And I'm a yes. neighbor. Mm. I'm their mother. Mm. All yes. these children are yes. my grandchildren. Yes. So I cannot come here to promote Violence. violence. Mm. No. Really? And I've told them where this violence, I'm not there. Mm. So that's why I'm talking to you. I don't know whether you are the, the topmost police officer. Yes. Now I would have wanted to meet your RDC, RCC. I don't know where he is. Yeah, RCC is his office. Yes. Yeah. We can reach his office. I would have. I would have wanted yeah. to go and meet him. Actually, the best would be we mm -hmm. meet in the office. So what you oh, say? Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, how far is the office? Just nearer here. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, let, let me. Anna, what you do? Yes. Can you bring my car? I want to enter. Yes. And I will go with you. Yeah, what do you want? So you bring the car. Yeah. Uh, please, don't don't interrupt us. Okay? You bring me the car.
Uh, Grandmom, my name is Peter Pex Pahak. I'm the resident city commissioner for Soroti City. Today I've got a, a very powerful guest, Imat Tichila Ogwal. With our delegation. With our delegation from Dokolo. No, from Lango Sub Region. Okay, Lango Sub Region. Yes. And then accompanied by our woman member of parliament for Soroti City, woman member of parliament for Soroti District. We are here to resolve a, a, a problem that uh, emanates from the celebrations of the Women's Day. The Women's Day internationally and nationally uh, is celebrated on the 8th of March every year. For Soroti City, it was fixed for 14th April today. Unfortunately, a number of factors could not allow it to be celebrated today. There was a disagreement between a woman member of parliament who was supposed to be at the forefront with the organizing committee. And that's why you saw a bit of frankness today. However, we have, uh, through the help of Mama, Imad Chilaoya, we have, we have been able to sit in my office and resolve on those issues. That one, uh, we put the past and call it history. Two, going forward, that for the future celebrations, of course, for today, it has aborted. Women's Day celebration today has been aborted, and there's nothing. To, to call it a celebration. But for, going forward for the future celebrations, the decision for our office, office of the president, the office of the woman member of parliament, and the organizing committee in the city, sit together and have a better celebration. That's what we have resolved. We have no more issues to talk about. We have reconciled. That's our resolution. I think you should have told you to the online life. RCC, your online life. Yesterday it was recently. As RDC's office or RCC's office did not stop, it is the women who decided in their organizing committee that because of lack of resources, that because of inadequate preparations, the function could not be celebrated today. And therefore, they decided to postpone it to a later date. They just informed us. My office received a report. So how did these women inform you? Still writing or They just came and had a meeting with me in my office. I think uh, one of my deputies is a woman. One of the DPCs is a woman, and then the chairperson of the Women's Council came to my office and gave, gave me a report, and that's how we resolved. It's very fundamental. I would like to say that my coming here has been a blessing. I want to thank the people of Teso that uh, they were able to maintain, to maintain cool, they remained peaceful despite commotion that was uh, seen around. And I also want to thank the police that despite the fact that um, the movement of the women were very obvious, highly mobilized and following where they could meet as a venue to get the message uh, for this particular occasion. But the police remain cool. They never uh, throw tear gas at the, at, the, at the people, and for which I must appreciate. Uh, so um, I've been able to sit down with the RCC and the police team, and together with the members, the women members of parliament who are here, and we have agreed that on matters to do with Women's Day celebration, the office of RCC or RDC are not supposed to be involved. And they have understood that. Yes! They have understood that. And I think going forward, going forward, we are going to urge the women to be at the forefront 
we are not going to say women are going to operate on their own. We need the men also to be with us, right? Yeah. We need the security also to be with us. Yeah. We need even uh, people from other, other regions. Like today I've come with uh, women representatives from Lango. They are not only from Dokolo. We have women from the city of Lira. We have women from Aleptong. We have women from, uh, uh, from uh, Kole, from Oyam. They are here and from Kole. So we are here generally from the Lango sub-region. So we are here to celebrate with the women of Teso. Yes. That is how it should be. We want it to be our issue, our women issue. And the security can only back us up by giving us an environment of peace where we can enjoy. Yes. That is what we are asking. So we are asking the, uh, the leadership, wherever they are at all level, to ensure that they avail the women peaceful environment in order to celebrate the day because how do we appreciate that there are some positive development there are some positive change if you don't give us an opportunity to discuss our affairs so i think going forward the people of teso have learned that uh, this is a women's day the leadership of this uh, teso city have learned that if there are mistakes we should put it behind we are not accusing anyone and I believe that uh, even the RCC, we are not blaming him for being overzealous. And we are also thanking the police. They have been very restrained. I think all of you have seen. They have not acted with excitement or anything. No. So I need to thank them. It's also good to be an elderly woman. Maybe they didn't want me to take in uh, any more tear gas. So <laughs> they, have, they have respected my age, for which I'm, I'm very, very grateful. And I want to thank my delegation. They have, uh, they have appreciated what has happened. And I pray that this, this spirit of, of peace and unity must be maintained in Soroti, as a city and Soroti, as a sub-region. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. All of us, especially our dear chief guest tonight, who is none other than Atat, Cecilia Ogwal, my colleague Honorable Anne Adeke, and the Honorable Members present. Today the women have celebrated their day and it's in history that Soroti City has finally celebrated their day in style. Amen. Amen. And at, at 4pm we are going to have a women football that will take place, Kichinjaji Women's FC versus Pawosa Pamba Women FC, which will still go on as a way of celebrating Women's Day. I also want to thank uh, the whole team of Teso, a woman in the village there who traveled all the way. I want to bring on record that I am drafting a motion that government should scrap off RDCs. The money, the money being used to buy their cars, their fuel, can be used to buy scanning machines in our health centers. And that is in progress, yes, 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 yes. and I believe the parliament will embrace it. Because this is not the first time a woman is being denied to celebrate being a woman yes. and celebrate the achievements of a woman. I, I am happy that we have heard from Mami that men should stay away and should only wait to be invited. Yes. And we shall always invite all men because we need all of them. Thank you very much. I wish all the women of Soroti City a, a happy belated women's celebration. Stay calm. We shall. I want to thank the police so much. Despite of the pressure to shoot and put tear gas, they stayed calm and respected their rule and what they are supposed to do. They understood their role as the police. I want to thank them so, so much for not being partisan, allowing us to move, even if they dispersed the crowds. At least the women have had something to run around the town, to move around, laugh and dance. So we are really happy that it has taken place and uh, we wait for another women's celebration on 8th March 2024. Stay tuned. <laughs> football uh, gear. Yeah. <laughs> you remember? Uh, yes. Yes, I have it. So I'll be there. Yes. <laughs>